So this is one of the easiest and coolest ways you'll ever see to cook dried peas or beans. We're gonna utilize this pressure cooker, and what's neat about that is a pressure cooker allows you to cook at a temperature much higher than you physically can on the stove because you can only cook at 212, which is where water boils. This actually gets uh, a little bit hotter. I'm gonna take these peas from West Africa. We've been growing these in America for quite some time now, and we call them Sea Island Red Peas here, but it's a very, very simple cow pea. And I've taken these and soaked them overnight, which is something you always need to do when cooking dried peas and beans to help hydrate them, much easier for them to cook. So I'm just gonna take the dried peas, drain them of the water. So at this point, you need to do a two to one ratio of liquid to peas or beans. Here, I've decided instead of water or stock to use preserved tomatoes. These tomatoes have been peeled and then processed in a mason jar at a high temperature to preserve them with a little bit of tomato juice. So that's gonna add a nice acidity to this. Put it right in. And then I'm gonna throw in a nice piece of smoky bacon. I'll just put that right in. A Couple of fresh bay leaves, some branches of fresh thyme. And then this is our barbecue rub that we make at the restaurant. So it has cayenne, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, brown sugar, and salt. And what I love about this is you literally just put the lid on, put this on 20 minutes at medium pressure, push start. So traditionally when you cook peas, you would put it on the stove and allow it to simmer away. And then you find yourself sort of putting your nose over the pot and smelling it. Well, what's happening is all of that flavor those flavor compounds are going into the air and not into the pea anymore. And what's neat about this is this traps all that in there and it can't escape. Because of the pressure involved in this cooking process, all of that liquid gets pushed into that pea and just has an incredible flavor when it's cooked. So now these peas uh, have been cooking for about 20 minutes, so we'll release the steam. You gotta be like very, very careful with these things. You do not want to open that lid until all the steam goes away. So now these peas are beautifully cooked. You can see how creamy that got because the, the peas release their starch and then the pressure cooker cooks it down and makes it really, really nice. This is the way I like to eat them. This is a pretty typical meal when I was a kid at my mom's house. And we always had it with a bit of cornbread. I like to crumble it over the top. There you have it, Sea Island Red Peas with cornbread crumble. This is so easy, it's 20 minutes. Every single time they're perfect.